Buongiorno, buenos días. Les saludamos y les damos la más cordial bienvenida en esta bellísima, en este bellísimo día. Estamos celebrando el Día del África, así que bienvenidos. Bienvenidos también a todas las personas que por primera vez nos están eh, visitando, a las autoridades civiles que hoy están con nosotros en este día de fiesta. Les pedimos por favor de tener en mano el boletín trilingüe, inglés, italiano, español, para poder seguir, sobre todo para poder participar vivamente en esta Santa Eucaristía. Para quien eh, desea, eh, hay copias del sermón en italiano en la mesita al ingreso. Les pedimos también, por favor, de poner atención a los anuncios, a la hojita verde. Ahí encontrarán todas las actividades de nuestra parroquia de San Pablo dentro de los muros de Roma. Bienvenidos de nuevo y buena celebración. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this celebration of Africa Day. I especially want to welcome the members of the diplomatic corps who are with us today. Thank you for your presence. It is a gift to be able to celebrate together on this day. It's been four years since we've been able to celebrate Africa Day officially here at St. Paul's, and it's such a part of our tradition that we give thanks to God for this opportunity to be together again in this place. As Francisco mentioned uh, in Spanish, we use this bulletin, which is multilingual, to be able to engage fully in the service. I will tell you that of uh, all Sundays, we are always a multilingual parish, but particularly so this Sunday, uh, you will hear readings in some of the different languages of Africa, and you will also get to experience what is a new uh, mass setting in Swahili. So we're very, very excited about that and looking forward to our celebration today. Follow along in English on the left-hand side uh, and in Spanish on the right-hand side and in any language that you are able to as best as you can. We, we worship with one voice even in many languages, so glad that you are here to participate with us today. I want to extend a welcome to the juniors across Europe, uh, members of the convocation who are here with us today. We, they've been with us for the last three days and it's been wonderful to have you here. Welcome, uh, glad to have you and glad to worship with you today as well. When it comes time to communion, you are invited to receive with us here at St. Paul's. We come forward to receive the bread at one of the stations here, and then to receive the wine on either side. If it's not your custom or preference to receive these gifts, you may come forward and ask for a blessing by crossing your arms like this, and you'll receive a blessing in God's name. We have gluten-free hosts available to any who would wish. If you raise your hand, we'll make sure you get one. Welcome again to the celebration. Looking forward to it.
Alleluia, Christ is risen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Oremos. Oh Dios, Rey de la Gloria, que con gran triunfo exaltaste a tu único Hijo Jesucristo a tu reino celestial, no nos dejes desconsolados, mas envíanos tu Espíritu Santo para fortalecernos y exaltarnos al mismo lugar a donde nuestro Salvador Cristo nos ha precedido, quien vive y reina contigo y el Espíritu Santo, un solo Dios in glory eterna. first lesson is taken from the Acts 1 verses 6 to 14 and uh, is in Luganda from Uganda. Ao webali bakunganye ebamvuza anti mukama wafe 
mchisera chino monotu zidizao wakaba kabwa Israeli na ye yesu na abadamunti okumanyanti ntuko obaye biro sicha mwe kitange kya teka teka ubuyinza bwe na ye muli we bwamanyi omoyo mutukuvu wali mara okubakkako okubakkako era munabanga mujulirwa mujir bajulirwa bange mu Yerusalemu ne mu Yudaya yonna ne mu Samaria no kutukira dalala ku komerero zensi we amaru kogera ibigambo ebyo ekire ne kimutwara waguru ngabalaba awo we bali ngaba batunula enkala enkaliriza muguru ngagenda amangu ago abasajja babiri ngabamba dengo yengeru ne balabika ne bogera anti abasajja bagaliraya wachi muyimiride wanonga mutunda mutunula waguru muguru Yesu oyo abajiddwa ko natwalibwa muguru agenda okoma wo mungeri yemu ngabwe mumulabye nga agenda muguru ne bakoma wo e Yerusalem okuva ku lusozi oluyitibwa olwa Zaituni oluli okumpi ne Yerusalem ngo lugendo olutambulwa ku sabiti ne balaga ku kisenge kya waguru mu nyumba mwe bali basula era bebano petero ne yokana ne yakobo ne andrea ne filipo ne tomasi ne batolomayo ne matayo ne yakobo omwana wa alufayo ne simoni yaitibwanga omuzerote ne yuda omwana wa yakobo abo wonna ne bawe ne bewera yo dala mutima ogumu okusaba awamu na abakazi ne mariamu Nina wa Yesu ni baganda wa Yesu The word of, of the Lord Thanks be to God
reading from the first letter of Peter. Qira'a min risalat Botrus al-Rasul al-Ula. Ayyuha al-Ahibba, la tastagribu nar al-Ittihad al-Mushtahila indakum l-Ikhtibarikum. كأن أمرا غريبا قد أصابكم وإنما فرحوا لأنكم كما تشاركون المسيح في الألام الآن لا بد أن تفرحوا بمشاركته في الابتهاج عند ظهور مجده فإذا لحقتكم الإهانة لأنكم تحملون اسم المسيح فطوبى لكم لأن روح المجد أي روح الله يستقر عليكم إذا تواضعوا تحت يد الله القديرة لكي يرفعكم عندما يحين الوقت واطرحوا عليه ثقل همومكم كلها لأنه هو يعتني بكم تعقلوا وتنبهوا إن خصمكم إبليس كأسد يزأر يقول باحثا عن فريسة ليبتلعها فقاوموه ثابتين في الإيمان واذكروا أن إخوتكم المنتشرين في العالم يكتازون وسط هذه الآلام عينها وبعد أن تتألموا لفترة قصيرة فإن الله إله كل نعمة الذي دعاكم إلى الاشتراك في مجده الأبدي في المسيح لا بد أن يجعلكم كاملين وثابتين ومؤيدين بالقوة وراسخين له المجد والسلطة إلى أبد الآبدين آمين The word of the Lord Santo Evangelio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo según San Juan. Gloria a ti, Cristo, Cristo Señor. Señor. Jesús miró al cielo y dijo, Padre, la hora ha llegado, glorifica a tu Hijo, para que también Él te glorifique a ti, pues tú has dado a tu Hijo autoridad sobre todo hombre, para dar vida eterna a todos los que le diste. Y la vida eterna consiste en que te conozcan a ti, el único Dios verdadero, y a Jesucristo a quien tú enviaste. Yo te he glorificado aquí en el mundo, pues he terminado la obra que tú me confiaste. Ahora pues, Padre, Dame en tu presencia la misma gloria que yo tenía contigo desde antes que existiera el mundo. 
a los que escogiste del mundo para dármelos, les he hecho saber quién eres. Eran tuyos y tú me los diste y han hecho caso de la palabra. Ahora saben que todo lo que me diste viene de ti, pues les he dado el mensaje que me diste y ellos lo han aceptado. Se han dado cuenta de que en verdad he venido de ti y han creído que tú me enviaste. Yo te ruego por ellos, no ruego por los que son del mundo, sino por los que me diste, porque son tuyos. Todo lo que es mío es tuyo y lo que es tuyo es mío. Y mi gloria se hace visible en ellos. Yo no voy a seguir en el mundo, pero ellos sí van a seguir en el mundo. Mientras que yo me voy para estar contigo, Padre Santo, cuídanos en el poder de tu nombre, el nombre que me has dado para que estén completamente unidos como tú y yo. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorify you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I speak to you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Ci sono copie del sermone in italiano per loro che vogliono, eh, stanno vicino alla porta. Your Excellencies and distinguished guests from the many member states of the African Union, on this celebration of the 60th anniversary of the organization's founding, I welcome you to St. Paul's within the walls. Dear siblings from around the city who come to this church each week to find spiritual sustenance, community, and the hope to keep living as one body in a world that so often chooses to settle for division, I welcome you to this magnificent celebration of our common life called Africa Day. And for those of you who have come to us today for the first time, 
Whether your sojourn is for this day only or whether you are seeking a church home, I invite you to imagine with us what might be possible if each of us allows our lives to serve as seeds of transformation toward a more just, loving, and shared creation. We who call this community our home are on a journey together. And we gather here to ask God, the God of all, to guide us as we grow together, as we work together, and as we serve together. We speak many languages and come from many countries. We proudly bear the heritage of our families, honor the cultural customs that make us unique, and understand our national bonds and social connections as gifts and blessings to be celebrated. But we also are all too aware of how such tribal markers can be exploited by loud but weak leaders to turn us against one another and to convince us that we have no need of one another. When we believe the original lie that our differences should drive us to division, instead of seeing our diversity as cause for celebration and a revelation of the very multiplicity of God's own nature, then all of our worst fears begin to come true. Interpersonal relations break down and distrust dominates our interactions. The suffering of our neighbor ceases to cause our hearts to stir and we excuse ourselves from caring about the lives of those who aren't like us. Wars become commonplace. Betrayal and infidelity become the most common diplomatic and economic tools. And dreams of a different reality and dreams of a different world die in the parched mouths and famished souls of children who are caught in the crossfire. We who are gathered here today are called to proclaim another way. Whether we call ourselves Muslim, Christian, agnostic, or atheist, whether we come from one of the countries of Africa, Europe, Asia, or the Americas, even if we have been disappointed and disillusioned by life and unbearably brokenhearted by hoping against hope for a better way of being, we can live and journey together in a way that serves as a witness to the world and a catalyst for the change that will draw us into the peaceable realm of the new creation. Jesus' prayer today to his Father, as he prepares to ascend and become present to his followers in a new way, is, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. This oneness is not a unity that erases distinction, but one that relies upon authentic relationship to understand 
true wholeness. As Christians, we rely upon our understanding of the mystical body of Christ with its many members to speak about this particular kind of unity. Just as a hand is not a foot, but both are equally important as part of the larger body. So are we who differ in country of origin, age and status, preferred language and even religious inclination. So are we still part of the larger body that God uses to heal and reconcile the whole world. There are other metaphors from other traditions that describe this reality. I hope you know some wonderful ones and I hope you will share them. There are wonderful motivators that can spur us to see each other as siblings and fellow children of God instead of as competitors and adversaries. What bears repeating always but especially as we gather to celebrate Africa Day, is that knowing this is one thing, but living it is another. The African Union has put forward ambitious continent-wide goals, flagship projects of Agenda 2063, designed to better connect countries and ensure and improve the life and livelihood of African citizens. These goals arise from the fields of transportation, education, trade, energy, and security. And they are beyond the reach of any single country on the continent. Egypt's economic security is bound with Rwanda's. Congo's educational success is connected to Chad's. Security in South Africa relies on security in South Sudan. While the differences between North and Central Africa may at times seem insurmountable, while the frustrations and destruction wrought by colonialism may threaten to overwhelm any progress toward new relationships. And while pressures and politics from outside the continent undermine the self-determination and unity of the African people, the only way to overcome these very real challenges is as one body. One body, many members. That is the idea that undergirds the church. It was the foundational principle of the organization of African unity and the African Union, and it is the goal for which we must strive if we wish to effect meaningful and lasting change in our world. as we celebrate the variety of gifts that arise through our Nigerian, Ugandan, Algerian, Ethiopian, Mauritian, and Angolan siblings today, as we praise God in song, word, and deed today in many languages and seek the strength to work for and with one another once more. Let us focus our efforts on the small seeds of transformation first. Let us open our hearts to learn from one another and to truly hear the stories of joy and pain that our neighbors must tell. Let us invest in each other 
and forge the bonds of friendship daily in the hopes that a sustained relationship of trust and respect will allow us to overcome the inevitable disagreements and misunderstandings that arise among human beings. And let us seek to alleviate one another's suffering, whether personal, national, or systematically global, so that we may grow in the understanding that when one member of the body suffers, we all suffer, and understand that our neighbor's life and livelihood are intimately tied to our own. If we plant these seeds in our own hearts and allow the garden of the new creation to grow in the communities and networks in which we move, then perhaps we will also reap together the fruits of healing and reconciliation that feed us to accomplish the ambitious goals that currently seem out of reach. Perhaps living and thriving as one body with many members will allow us to dream dreams again and imagine our way into the kind of world where God's will can truly be done. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God. God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come.
to our God be the power forever and ever. Amen. Let us appeal to the Lord, saying, We are yours. Be, be glorified, glorified in us. Holy Father, protect your church for your namesake, so that we may be one, even if you are one with your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Restore, support, strengthen, and establish us, and always for your glory. We are yours. Be glorified in us. Dio, fonte di amore, suscita testimoni del tuo amore in tutto il mondo, fino agli estremi confini della terra. Sii genitore degli orfani, difensore delle vedove e sostenitore dei poveri. Siamo tuoi. Sii sì, glorificato in noi. Great God of heaven and earth, you graciously send rain to dry places. Give the, to the people of the earth enough to meet their needs, and yet protect us from dangerous excess. May we acknowledge that all God gifts come from your hand. We are yours. Be, Be glorified, glorified in us. Dio potente, esalta nella nostra stessa comunità gli umili a tempo debito. Possa rinnovare, che tu possa rinnovare la, che possano rinnovare la propria dignità coloro che hanno conosciuto la sofferenza e la lotta. Benedicili con gioia. Fai sentire la loro voce in grida di gioia. Siamo tuoi. Sì, glorificato in noi. God of all grace, we pray for the lonely and the prisoners, for the sick and the suffering. As they cast their anxieties upon you, may they experience your freedom and care. We are yours. Be glorified in us. Padre Celeste, ci è stata concessa la vita eterna conoscendoti attraverso tuo Figlio Gesù. Precara, prepara una casa per tutti i morenti e i morti, affinché possano continuare per sempre nella tua bontà. Especially today I remember Mario D'Agosto, the anniversary of his death, and also former interim of our church, John Kevern, who died recently. May their souls rest in peace and rise in glory. Siamo tuoi. Si, si glorificato in noi. Our Lord and God Almighty, we praise you for you created us all and made us into many different tribes and nations, that we may befriend one another and that we may not despise each other. Open our hearts, we pray, so that we may respond to the needs of all our brothers and sisters. O Lord Jesus, bless all our lands with more lasting peace and fraternal understanding. Above all, Heavenly Father, touch the hearts of our political leaders and all those in power. We pray that they may exercise power gently, that they may humbly seek a disinterested dialogue that will bring about understanding, leading us all to a place where all nations and all people live together in peace and harmony. Where there is bitterness, teach us forgiveness and reconciliation. Replace hatred with love and indifference with care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. La paz del Señor sea siempre con ustedes. The peace of the Lord be always with you. It is a joy and an honor to be here today together. Thank you for making uh, this service a priority and for being here. As I said before, I want to thank the members of the Diplomatic Corps who are here representing uh, many of the member states of the African Union. It is a joy to have you with us today. Know that you always have a home here at St. Paul's, and we'd love to collaborate with you on anything that we may be able to to help you accomplish those very ambitious goals of Agenda 2063 and other things that may be important to you. Uh, for those of you who are visiting us for the first time, as I said earlier, wow, what a great Sunday to pick. What a treat. Uh, a couple of things to say that after the service, we will be gathering downstairs for a wonderful meal. So please, I, I hope you haven't made any other lunch plans because uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to celebrate these many gifts that we have all together. So. To do that, all you have to do is go out the doors and go down the stairs over the, uh, there, being careful, of course, on the steps, because that's important. We don't want anyone to, to, to fall or anything like that, but please join us downstairs for a chance to celebrate together after the service. Are there any other announcements for the good of the body that I should offer today? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. As Ben reminded me, it's African food particularly, so <laughs> please do take an opportunity to enjoy the fact that we have that. We welcome the, the representatives of uh, the embassies of the Congo, of South Sudan, and Nigeria. And am I missing any other representatives that are here that we don't have listed? It's great to have you again with us. Thank you. Ascribe, to the, uh, ascribe the honor, do God's name, bring offerings, and come into God's courts.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. After his glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us, that where he is, there we might also be and reign with him in glory. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. In the calling of Israel to be your people in your word, spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Después de la cena tomó el cáliz, 
y dándote gracias se lo entregó y dijo, Beban todos de él. Esta es mi sangre del nuevo pacto, sangre derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Siempre que lo beban, háganlo como memoria al mío. Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O oh Lord of all presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal, porque tú es el reino, tú es el poder y tú es la gloria, ahora y por siempre. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. And let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Y done de Dio per el popolo de Dio, los dones de Dios para el pueblo de Dios, the gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.
Salgamos con gozo al mundo en el poder del Espíritu. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Demos gracias a Dios.